Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about right angled triangles and Pythagoras property. Here we have a triangle ABC right angled at B. So triangle ABC is a right angled triangle. Now the sides of a right angled triangle have some special names. The side opposite to the right angle is known as hypotenuse. So here Angle B is a right angle and the side AC is the side opposite to the right angle that is angle B. So here for the triangle ABC right angled at B AC is the hypotenuse. And the other two sides are known as the legs of the right angled triangle. So here Side AB and side BC are the legs of the right angled triangle ABC. Now let's see the Pythagoras property. This states that in a right angled triangle, the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the legs. So here in the right angled triangle ABC according to the Pythagoras property we have AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Now this means for a right angled triangle, the Pythagoras property will hold and if the triangle is not a right angled triangle, then the Pythagoras property will not hold good. Now, conversely, we also have if the Pythagoras property holds then the triangle must be right angled. This property is useful to decide whether the given triangle is a right angled triangle or not. Let's take an example for this. We are given the lengths of three sides of a triangle as 6 cm, 8 cm and 10 cm and we need to determine whether the given triangle will be a right angled triangle or not. So for this, first of all let us find out the squares of all the three sides of this triangle. So 6 square is equal to 36, 8 square is equal to 64 and 10 square is equal to 100. Now it is very clear that 100 is equal to 64 plus 36. So that means 10 square is equal to 8 square plus 6 square. So from this we can say that the Pythagoras property is satisfied. That means the given triangle is a right angled triangle. Now, hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. So, here for this triangle, the side with length 10 centimeters will be the hypotenuse. Now, let's take one more example. Suppose, we are given the triangle ABC right angled at B with length of the side AC that is hypotenuse as 41 centimeters and the length of the side BC as 40 centimeters and we need to find the length of the side AB. So for this we will use the Pythagoras property and according to Pythagoras property we have AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Now, substituting the values, we will get AC square, that is 41 square, 
is equal to AB square plus BC square that is 40 square. This implies AB square is equal to 41 square minus 40 square which will be equal to 1681 minus 1600 that is 81 which is equal to 9 square that means AB is equal to 9 centimeters. Thus, in this session we have learnt about right angle to triangles and Pythagoras property. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have enjoyed it. Goodbye, take care and keep smiling.